Welcome back to the Angry Man Podcast with Jason and Greg, and we got a special guest in the building, Elijah Garcia. How's it going, man? Good. How's it going? I'm feeling, feeling good, feeling ready. Perfect, perfect. So I want to jump right into it. Um, You have been quite, quite active here over the last several months, and they have really been testing you. Uh, I think, if I'm not mistaken, your last four opponents, they've been somewhere in the record of like 42 and two or something like that. So what's the driving force behind how your how your uh, your level of activity currently? Um, uh, I don't know, man. I, just, I, you know, I like to stay active and I like to get better each fight um, and getting better with each fight. You know, of course, can be better opponents. Um you know, stronger tests, you know, we ain't trying to take too big of a leap, but you know, each fight we, we do want to get better and we uh, want to keep improving. Gotcha. Gotcha. So your last fight was against Kevin Selgado. Uh, really good fight. Good performance for you. How would you grade yourself in that performance? Uh, to be honest, that, that was not my best performance. You know, uh, Ke- I give, you know, Kevin Salgado, he's, He's a real awkward fighter. He's a really experienced fighter. You know, he's a Mexican Olympian. Uh, he, I give him, I give him lots of credit because you know, he, he made it tough for me. And, and, uh, I just put my game plan, but you know, I should have came out I got more, more hurt. You know, I should have came out more boxing. Yeah, it's just uh, Kevin Sagat is a good fighter, man. I I give him respect. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So you're on the undercard of Canelo versus Jermel Charlo. You're going to face Jose Resendez. And he faced, I believe you two, if I'm not mistaken, I believe you two were on the same card back sometime in April, if I'm not mistaken. And he faced Hurd. Is that correct? Yep. 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 He, he fought, fought together March 4th. Fought Hurd. Gotcha, gotcha. So what was your thoughts on his performance against Hurd? Uh, you know... To be honest, I didn't really watch the fight, but I remember we drove together up in the same bus because we were both the we were both the B side. We drove together in the same bus. We were talking to each other, you know, hanging out. You know, uh, we warmed up together in the same room. Um, you know, I didn't I, I didn't really think nothing of it until you know after I fought, and then you know, my dad was like, "Look, you might have to fight this guy now. You know, you guys both win. You know, whatever." But um, you know, it came sooner than we thought. And uh, Armando Rezendez had a great performance against Hurd. You know, he stopped him in like the ninth or tenth round. And, um, you know, Armando comes to fight and he comes in shape. Yep, yep. So without revealing your game plan, you know, what what do you need to do in order to be successful in this fight against Resendez? You know, I got to take control. Armando Rezendez, he likes to throw a lot of punches. You know, he likes to throw a lot of punches and he likes to come forward. And he likes, you know, he he likes to con- he likes to control the pace. So if I can control the pace, you know, and fight my fight, I believe it would be an easy victory for me. But, you know, mentally, I'm prepared for the toughest fight of my life. Physically, you know, I'm prepared to go 12 rounds if, if I had to. So I, I, I'm just ready. I'm ready to get the show on the road. Gotcha. Gotcha. Um. So as far as I can see, you know, you're being moved aggressively. You're on a a championship path. More than likely, if you win this fight, you'll be prospect of the year. At what point do you see yourself in a position that you will be in line or at least vying for a world championship? Um, You know, the goal is to become a mandatory soon. Mm -hmm. I'm 20 years old. I don't want to take too big of a leap. You know, mm-hmm. I, I still need that experience, but at the same time, if there's an opportunity. I don't see why I wouldn't, you know, I don't see why I'd pass it up. Uh, I believe I'm good enough. You know, I believe I'm old, like an old school fighter. You know, you see these old school fighters fighting 20, 21, 22, fighting the best, fighting the best in the division, you know, fighting for world titles. And I believe I'm good enough to be just like those guys. You know, they're trying to make history and that's, that's what I'm trying to do as well. Yeah. Um, so when you think about the champions in the division and some of the fighters, you got Jamal Charlo, you got Adamez, uh, you got Laura, uh, and I know you're highly ranked in all of those, all of those, uh, by all those sanctioning bodies. 
which one of those champions would you be most interested in if the opportunity, like you said, presented itself? No, I like Laura. Laura's, uh, you know, WBA. I'm ranked number eight, you know, but I know that's not an easy fight as well. I know Laura's a little bit older, but, you know, he's experienced, very, very experienced, and he's, you know, he's very, very talented. So, you know, that's also a dangerous fight, but the opportunity come, came, you know, I wouldn't pass it down. Perfect. So final question for you. What's your what's your prediction for September 30th? How do you think the fight will play out for you? Do knockout, you go 12 rounds, just based off of your style and his. What are your thoughts on that? Uh, I'm not sure, man, to be honest. I'm not really sure because uh, I know it's going to be a really tough fight for me. You know, it's yeah. going to be whoever breaks down mentally. But I know if I fight my fight, and I and and I fight a perfect fight. I'll I'll win by knockout, you know. But that's not the plan. You no know, plans to plans not to look for the knockout. Definitely, you don't want to look for the knockout. So, um, you know, I I personally think it should be a unanimous decision. You know, an easy unanimous decision. But at the same time, you know, if if you know he wants to exchange, I think he might get caught. Gotcha, gotcha. Makes perfect sense. Well, again. Elijah, I appreciate your time. Thank you so much, and good luck on September 30th in your fight against Resendez. Thank you. Have a good day, sir. All right, you too.